Assassin's Creed Brotherhood game, The Nitpicks. So I just want to make it absolutely clear for everyone watching this video, this is not a review. I am not, you know, the stuff I say here doesn't particularly... I like the game. If you want my actual review of the game, it's down below. This, this is the stuff that I would kind of like to see, you know, improved slightly upon in future games. Heck, maybe it already has been. But basically, yeah, this is not me saying that the game sucks or anything. These are the minor things that I do wish could be better in the game. For one thing, I wish that the, the lock-on didn't suddenly switch over to another target. It's really annoying when... For example, if you're killing someone who is liable to run away, like one of the Borgia captains, one of the, yeah, Borgia captains, I think that's what they're called, near the towers, and you have to, you know, very quickly, sometimes it's a really good idea to shoot them right off, you know, I remember distinctly, one of them, on a horse, I wanted to shoot him with a gun, the lock-on kept focusing on the guards around him, you know, I would, you know, before I lock on, point directly at him, he's, you know, highlighted with the little Q thing, press the lock on, after about a second, before I have a chance to fire the gun, you know, aimed properly, it's switched on to another one, and yeah, it's a major hassle. That's really annoying. I also wish they would do something about how sometimes it kills completely the wrong person, including, like, civilians. You know what? It punishes you for killing civilians. Why not just have it be, you can't kill civilians at all? You know, that would at least help part of it. But anyway, Sometimes you kill guards when you're really out for, say, the captain or the specific target of the mission, whatever. And, yeah, again, I don't know, something like you briefly control the mouse so that it, like, a lot of people hate this in the first Hitman game, but I actually thought it was kind of nice. If you click a specific button, suddenly the mouse is completely free and you can move it around like a cursor in, you know, when you're just using the computer regularly. It, you know, it doesn't alter your view particularly, it just moves around on the specific, and you can pinpoint, this is where I want to shoot, without actually moving the camera. I like that for the, yeah, the kill feature, the targeting feature. I think that would help. That would be much better than this, essentially, faulty lock-on system. This next one is a bit, this this is when we really get nitpicky, and this isn't really something they would need to do. I just think if they're going to, you know, if they're going to simplify so much of the game anyway, why not make a Siri, I think that's what it's called, I don't have one, for the map, ba or, you know, yeah, basically the game, so that, you know, you just say, where's the nearest bank? And it tells you, instead of you having to manually go to the map and sort of say, hmm, is this bank closer or is that bank closer? You know, and just for all the different things, you know. So, yeah. Like I said, really nitpicky. I say, I swear there was at least one more thing. When you're on a mission and you do something that costs you the 100% synchronization, I wish that you could just restart from the most recent checkpoint instead of having to start the entire mission over. Yes, that is a nitpick and I get, you know, heck, maybe this was partially on purpose. And I'll explain why I say partially in a second. Because they want it to be challenging, which would really be a new concept for these games, or at least, you know, with this one they're at least trying. But yeah, why I say partially? There are times when it really appears to be a bug, because sometimes you'll, you know, as frustrating as it was, I, you know, actually went and clicked, well, just restart the entire memory sequence then. <laughs> Played through the entire thing, did it perfectly, did not do the thing that cost me 100% synchronization, and yet it says 50% synchronization, because the former, you know, the previous attempt, made by me, I did flunk it. So, yeah, that I really wish they would address. And I do believe that's everything. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.